Hey folks, this is Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking and in this video we're going to have a little bit of fun to install this multi-tool from a company called Rugged Components on my uh, Remedy. Okay, so let's check it out. Alright, so let's go have some fun and install this, uh, this multi-tool. I contacted Rugged Components a little while ago and they were cool enough to send me one of their pre-production units. And what I liked about it is that it's one of these kind of hide tool type of multi-tools. So this seems to be, I don't know, getting kind of popular. There's a lot of different tools that you can hide on your bike and uh, a lot of them kind of go in the stem, some of them go in your bottom bracket. But um, this one I thought was pretty cool. I did a, I did a little video on different multi-tools that you can hide on your bike and stuff like that. I'll put a link to it in this video so you can check that out. But we're going to install the one from Rugged Components and this one it's pretty, pretty, pretty slick how it, how it comes in the box. This one is all about, um, this one's all about putting some of these Allen keys inside of the stem. So it's not designed to eliminate your multi-tool completely, all right? It's not a chain breaker or anything like that, but it has some of the key, um, key size Allen keys that you'd need uh, out in the field right, right here in your stem. What, so what, what I thought was cool about it is, will I probably carry my multi-tool? Yeah. But there's been so many times where I just needed to tighten something real quick or, or someone's seat post is moving around. They're like, Gene, you have a multi-tool. And then you got to stop. You got to take your bag off and, you know, it's a pain in the butt. Now it's just unloosen the, the stem. You'll see how it works in a little while. And, and there's the Allen key. So it's pretty slick. I like it a lot. And we're going to get this installed. All right. So, um... Let me go bring the camera around and we'll go and do that right now. Here we go. All right, so one more time. Here's what you get inside of the box. Uh, this is going to be the cap that you're going to unscrew to get to your tools. This part ends up being the new cap that's going to go right here. You'll see what I mean in just a minute. This screw will attach this whole thing to the stem. What you end up doing is you use this, uh, this device over here, this little beater guy over here, to knock down your star nut and push it down just far enough so that you can put in these different keys. It's a really nice design. Everything's pretty solid. So pretty simple. We're just gonna go and take, we'll go and take this cap off. We'll use the little smacker here to push down or smack down the star nut and then just install it. It's 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 gonna be really easy. Okay, let's go get it done. So the first thing you have to do, like I said, is we have to take out the existing cap. Now, I'm going to actually do this with the tools that come with this kit, just to kind of show you how things fit. And they're, they're very unique how they work. Watch, I'm going to push this, put this guy right here. Okay, and that fits in there. But this is, this is too hard to get with my hand like this. So these actually lock into each other. So now I actually have a bigger wrench where I can now go and take that thing out. So these, these connect to each other. And you can use each one for leverage. And there's there's different ones. They fit inside of each other. And it's kind of kind of a pretty cool design. But that's all it takes, right? We got this guy off. And um, this comes out like this. All right, we'll put this aside. Now, I'm not sure if you can see. Yeah, you can see this. See, there, there's the existing star nut. Okay, it's right there. That's got to get dropped down. And we're going to do that with the, we're going to do that with this part that comes with the kit. It's just going to go right in here. We're going to beat the bejesus out of that thing and kick that star nut way down to the bottom. Okay, so out comes the negotiator, right? All right, and we, uh, we push that star nut down pretty far. Okay, it's way down in there now, and uh, this is now done, so we don't need this anymore. Okay, now we come back over to our kit and we take this, this cap out. And we put this in there and slide that guy right in there. Now, something I wouldn't mind is having extra ones of these. I'd love to have another one of these bolts because then I could take this unit out and put it in another bike if I wanted to. I just thought it might be kind of cool because I really do like this. All right, we're going to go and um, screw this in. And just like before, I'm going to use I'm going to use the tools that come with the kit to put this in. Okay, and we'll go and tighten this into the star nut. And we'll use this to kind of cinch it in there. All right, like this. That goes like that. Okay, so now the cap is on. And then you simply just 
put this in here like this and that in there like that and now here's my cap take my cap and I screw it on now it's covered and now in my in my uh, my uh, stem I've got the the standard keys for most things that I need to do all right folks that's all I have for you on this one I mean that install couldn't have gone easier. The video is pretty short this time because that that was that was slick. I mean, I really liked it. This has been a topic that I've seen people talk about a lot. So, what what multi tools are you guys using and hiding in your bike? There's a couple different styles. Is there anything that you've been using that you like a lot? Leave some comments, leave some notes, and tell us how you like them and which ones you're using. And if maybe I'll go do a review on one of those if you think it's important enough, I can tell some more people about it. In the meantime, you know, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments on anything you want to leave comments on, all right? Keep the parties on the pedals, and um, that's all I got for you this time, my friends. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.